Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to visualize some data and how to interpolate the data so we can obtain a raster and then obtain contour lines from this raster. This data is about water quality and we have the parameter of sulfate. So let's start by opening the attribute table. So in this attribute table, we have some information about the data. We have the station name, the coordinates east and north, the basin name, date, and the sulfate concentration in water. We are going to be using the, sul the sulfate values. And we are going to start by interpolating the data so we can fill the gaps between the points. The interpolation tool that we are going to be using is the inverse distance weight tool and we can find it here in the processing toolbox. To open the processing toolbox in QGIS you just go to processing then toolbox and it will appear in the side of the window. Then we're going to look for IDW interpolation. And here we have the vector layer, which is data. Interpolation attribute will be sulfates. And we click on this symbol. We add the data. And here we have data sulfates and the type is point. Now we're going to select the extent of the raster. To select the extent of the raster, we're going to click on these three points and then select extent on canvas. We are going to draw to draw a rectangle around that point. And now I am going to click on run in background. Uh, I'll save it as a temporary file. So here we have the raster, and the raster contains the interpolated values of the sulfate. Here we have the points, and if you want to label the points, you just right-click on data, go to properties, then labels, so show labels for this layer, label width, sulfate, change the text font if you want, and buffer draw text buffer. Okay, so here we have the labels and we have the raster. To change the style of the raster we are going to right click, well first select the layer, then right click on the layer, click on properties and change to single band pseudo color. You can choose how to how to classify your values. It can be with the continuous mode or equal interval or quantile. I'll use quantile. And then apply. You can check which one you like better. Okay, so now we have the raster. We can use this, this tool to identify features. If you click on a pixel, you are going to get the value of the interpolated sulfate. And now we are going to create contour lines to represent these, these raster values. So we go to the processing toolbox and we are going to look for the contour contour tool. Here in the input layer it will be interpolated interval between contour lines we are going to start with 10. The interval of 10 is the the distance or the range in the sulfate values. Here in the attribute name, I'll write sulfate, S-O-4. 
and click on running background. So now here we have some contour lines. These contour lines have some values. If we open the attribute table, we are going to see that each line has a value of sulfate and the distance, um, the interval is of, of each uh, contour line is 10. So it starts with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. And then we can we can change the style of the contours and up, um, add some labels. So to change the style, select the contour layer, right click on it and go to properties. And here in properties, we are going to click on show label for this layer, label width, sulfate, text if you want to change the font you can change it and then draw a text buffer okay and change the properties of the line so right click again open attribute table no sorry uh, go to properties and then symbology and we can change the the style of the line. We can change the color as well. Okay. So now here we have some contour lines and these contour lines they classify the data in these intervals. So we can say that inside this circle we have sulfate values greater than 20. We can make sure of that if we use these identify features and click inside of the circle. We have to select the raster and here we have some values. So inside the circle we have uh, values lower than 20 and outside the circle we have values greater than 20. And here we have from 20 to 30. So this area has values from 20 to 30. And inside the circle of 30, we have values greater than 30. Here we also have 10. So in this area, we can find values between 10 and 20 in this area between 20 and 30, then this area has values from 30 to 40, then 40 to 50, 50 to 60, and greater than 50, and then 60, sorry. We can change the interval value if we look for the tool again. And then the interval will be 5 instead of 10. So as you can see, we have more control lines. We can label it again. Change the style. level with sulfates, change the text, and draw a text buffer. Okay. So now we have contour lines of uh, with an interval of five. And that's how you can create the contour lines. The contour lines are, are very good to to visualize the distribution of your data and you can also detect some hotspots or detect areas of greater concentration of, um, of some parameters of water quality.
So I have these files as temporary files if you want to save them. You only right click on them and click on save us. And here you you find the folder and write the name of the of the file and okay. Also with the interpolated raster. Okay, so now you have saved your files and now you have a raster of sulfates and also control lines of sulfates. So this is all for this tutorial. Thank you very much.